Well, hello. Welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate. And I tell you, the name of the home, as it's what this home is. It's an elite. Yeah. That is the name of the home. It is a 2,770 square foot home. That's that's only the finished portion of the home. You have a whole upstairs that's unfinished. So this one is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home with a den. Yeah, that's like I said, elite. Yeah, elite that totally describes this home. It's in a league of its own. Once again, you've got the really nice a uh, high pitch roof. I think this one said it was a 10-12 pitch. Not going to be able to show you a whole lot in the back side here. I can get around the trees here. And look at all these windows you got back here. I know you all want to know where this home is at. This home can be found at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. Now let's check out this porch. We've got a really nice front entrance here. Really like the archway on the door there. With that, let's go in. Okay, so as we come in, you can see you've got this really nice foyer area. And yes, I'm giving away, so we're going to go over there first. But we got this really nice foyer area. And a coat closet right as you walk in. To go along with that coat closet, you've got this set of lockers as you could use them for. Or storage area but I would say this is probably a locker area shoes down below coat racks up here they just don't have them installed and behind you is that half bath I was talking about so you got your sink and of course your toilet back here So as we come to the other side of your entranceway is this little formal area, den area if you want to call it, sitting room, really nice. They got the six inch crown molding in here. I have seen some of their other homes with eight inch crown molding so that could possibly be an option in this one. Nice trim molding down at the bottom. I'm telling you, sometimes my camera doesn't want to come off of where I was just pointing it. <laughs> but look at this really nice flooring you have right when you come in. I and mean, that almost looks like real hardwood flooring. 
but that is, I believe, the LVP flooring, not the real hardwood flooring. And then you get to look at this great big living room area. Really like the way this looks. So these guys do an exceptional job of staging their homes. And there's a whole bank of those windows we were looking at right there. And as we come into our, let's do the dining room first, even though you did get a little glimpse of the kitchen. We got these little pillars that kind of separate everything out, but in your kitchen area, again, you get that uh, really nice dark LVP flooring. Great big dining room table in here. So it gives you an idea just how big this area is. Love the tray ceiling with the beams and the recessed lighting. And we've got our wine rack up here, wine cooler down below, a couple cabinets on either side. And then if we pull the barn doors over, got a couple more cabinets and they got some plants on display. What do we got on this side? Oh, we got another plant. There is a plug-in behind each of those plants, so you could easily put something there that needs to be plugged in. So now on to the kitchen. Really nice kitchen. I love the way this looks with the pillars on each side of the cabinet, or the uh, island there. Seating for four. I mean, it just it kind of adds to that just like complete wow factor that says I am the top dog we'll come here and check out our cabinets here now these are fully adjustable shelves the cabinets are an off-white color kind of an eggshell color I would say of course you can always change colors but you don't have to get just that particular color We've got our stove and our microwave. Stainless steel GE appliances is what they're showing in this model. Of course, you have many options you can get. And this counter, or island I should say, has just drawers that wrap all the way around it. Your sink obviously is in the island. Got the double, double layer here. So you have the plugs right behind your decorations there. One on each side. Since we're here, you have the walk-in pantry. Lots of counter space over here. I really like this color of tile they used on this. And it runs all the way up to the top of the cabinets there. Or I should say the bottom of the cabinets, however you want to say it. It runs just all the way to the top. We'll just call it that. You got your pots and pans cabinets down below. Great big deep drawers. On the back side of your kitchen and dining area is your utility room. We have more lockers. Nice big counter in here. Lots more cabinets down below. You have a couple of cabinets up above each side of your window there. 
course, there's your full-size washer and dryer hookup with a rack up above it. And you have a side door over there. I totally forgot we had a door on each end of the utility room when I was outside. I should have went around to that side and showed you that one. We got some kids rooms to show you. I'm gonna have to speed things up a little bit because we're already at 11 minutes and I still got all the rooms and upstairs with our water heater underneath our stairs and a coat closet on the back side of that. And as we come down here, we are going to take a right, go into bedroom number one. Now you do have a Jack and Jill bathroom in this home. And as you can see, this is a very large bedroom. Giving you an idea of the size. Those are two singles. So you can see you got a ton of space in here. And you got a lot of room at the end of your bed back here. So we got a really big closet in here. I mean, that's almost the size of a lot of master closets. So we will go through the bathroom. We got double sinks. Nice little raised area there. Break things up a little bit. Really nice light fixtures. Hello, Raiden. And on the back side is going to be your water closet with some storage and your shower. One piece shower tub combo. Great big, almost like a soaker tub in there. Bedroom number two, we'll start with the closet. Now this one is a walk-in style closet. And you also get a large room. Now this one has the little step out on it. All right, we got to get moving. <laughs> we still got quite a bit to show in this home. So we're going to come back over here by our front door, back over here by the lockers and the half bath, and come into our master bedroom. So again, you've got the, the uh, little kick out there, set you up some chairs like they did, set you up a reading area. Looks really nice, as does the overall size of the bedroom. This is just a really large bedroom. And in our bathroom, we've got a setup that looks real similar to what was in the Jack and Jill bathroom with the dual sinks, raised counter there. So this time we have cabinets at each end. We have our water closet back here. Now this one is nice and wide. It's not got a door on it. So for those of you that need a little more accessible accessibility. And 
And then the large walk-in closet here with dual shelves on each end. Now they've got it set up with just the single rack that runs the distance here. But as you can see, there's one laying down there. It's a really nice dark tile shower and I like that they ran them this way instead of horizontal. Just kind of makes it stand out and look a little bit different. Once again they did the glass inlay there. Except this time they've got it at both ends. You've got separate handles, one for your wand and then you got your Rain head down there or up there with its own separate control. And with that, we got a whole upstairs to do yet. So as we come into the upstairs, so your door is right there. We've got this area over here. And then we got all of this back here. So now, you know, me, my mind was kind of like, okay, what would you do with this? As soon as I walked up here, then I saw this over here. I'm like, okay, that's perfect. That's the hallway. It's tall. It's a little bit short right, right here, but it's tall the rest of the way. It's fairly wide, easy hallway. So with that, that would be your hallway to this back area as I was started showing you when we first came in. Bedroom number four. And then this, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but it's big. You got a ton of space. Those rafters are way up there. I bet you they're nine foot up there. Because I'm sure that right about there is eight foot. So yeah, I mean, heck, this could be the game room. You know, put yourself a pool table, put yourself a foosball table, you know, set up a giant card table right here. And with that, y'all should leave me a giant comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the home. There's a lot to like in this home. What kind of changes would you want to make? I personally don't see any changes that need to be made. But, you know, people don't like everything about homes, so that's why they're customizable. And while you're down there leaving me that giant comment, don't forget to make sure that that uh, subscribe button is turned gray. That way you get notified when I upload videos three times a week on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. There's a lot to show in this home. Sorry, it was kind of a long one. Wanted to give you some pricing information on this. Keep in mind, this is at Homes by Vanderbilt. They only service the North Carolina area. So the price on this home is at time of filming, October of 2022. There could be other city and county fees, depending on where you have it delivered. Prices may vary over time, so it could go up, could go down. So this price may or may not be the price that you pay when you get this home. That said, there's a lot of options in this home. Let me tell you, <clears throat> the base price on this home is $315,000. The price on this home as shown, $429,000. So like I said, there are a lot of options, and that doesn't even include a finished upstairs there. But I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.